Hey there, everybody. Back again to follow up our RTB track making tutorial with a lighting tutorial. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and open up Racetrack Builder, and we'll open up that new map one track that we created in the last video. And I have an X pack that I have specially made specifically for these lighting. So I'm going to go and place an object. And I've imported these light posts into my track editor. I'm not going to go into how to import X packs and all that because it's kind of a pain uh, for conversions and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste a couple of these around the track. Okay, I have my light posts all placed down in the orientation that I would like them to be. And I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and file save so that we can come back to it. I'm going to export, and I'm going to leave all of this alone like we did in the first one. Hit OK. And then we can close Racetrack Builder. Go ahead and open up KS Editor one more time. Open FBX. And open up New Map 1. All right, we are in. Here's our map, here's our lighting. So we're not actually going to do anything in KS Editor other than we need to set our walls, whichever, whatever walls we want. And then we can go ahead and export. Save. Track. Select the new map one can five file. Hit save. Replace it. Yes. Saved. And we're done. Okay. Let's open up our two folders that we need. We have the actual track folder in content. And then we have our new map one documents folder that was created from Racetrack Builder. Let's go ahead and copy and paste. Replace the files. Most of those files are the textures, and then we're replacing these three with the updated version of the map. We can go ahead into a set of Corsa, and we can start up our map. And we can hit drive. And right now, because it's daytime, we're not doing anything, and because we have no extensions. So let's open up our side panel. And we're going to go down to Objects Inspector. And I want this specific part of this light to be illuminated. So we have Light A in all capitals as the material. So no other material on this track shares that except for these lights. So now that we have that information, we can go ahead and exit. And then we can go into New Map 1. And we can create a new folder, name it extensions. We need to create the INI file now. So because I already have a few maps, and so do you most likely, I'm going to go to my most recent map that I've been working on and just copy over this ext config file and we'll change that back to extension paste this in and then we can go ahead and open this file so we can see so I have a lot of stuff for grass effects and whatnot in here, but this is what we care about. 
we care about these two sections. To start out, we're going to go to, we're going to have a section called Material Adjustment 0, and we're going to set the materials to light A, because that was our material in-game that we wanted to set as a light. We're going to set key 0 to chaos emissive, and we're going to set a color value along with a light intensity. So, I have this set to a slightly yellowish tone, and you can just, you can simply search online, color picker, and get those values. And then 0 0.01 is relatively low. Uh, it's a good value to, to set for a base just to see how it looks. Um, you don't really need a condition on there. And then for light series 0, this is going to be the actual light that it emits. This is just the glow of the actual object itself. The light series is the actual light itself. So the materials we're going to set to the same thing. Direction, normal, simply means do you want this light to face the direction that the object is facing? So I don't want that. I want it to be directly underneath the light, so I'm going to comment that out. I don't need relative position or rotation, blah, blah, blah. Range is going to be how far you want the light to be able to affect your environment. So this is fairly large. I'm going to actually turn this down to about 50. The higher this range is, the more your lights are going to overlap and the more uh, CPU and GPU power you're going to be using. Range gradient offset, you can set that to zero. Uh, higher or lower is going to use more resources. Spot is how wide you want the light focus to be. So if I want things very narrow, then I can set this to 30, and that'll be about like 30 degrees. Or if I want it to be wider, I can set it to 100. So I'll set that to 100. And then spot sharpness is the edges of the light on the road or whatever surface it's reflecting on. So I'm going to leave this on zero so that it's a nice, soft, realistic light. Fade at refers to how far away you have to be for the light to no longer be emitting. It's mostly used for uh, performance reasons. So if you have a fairly low-end computer, you want to set this down at, like, say, 300. If you have a higher-end computer, you can definitely go up to about 1,000. And right now, just because there's not a whole lot on this map and there's only a few lights, I'm going to set it to 1,000 so we can see all of them. Fade smooth just refers to the fade out that the fade at is creating. You don't really have to worry about that. You can set that to 1, and they'll just fade out and in when they get close. Diffuse concentration, you leave it to 0. Color, you can do the same thing that you did for the value up here. And pick your color, and then I have this intensity set to 0 0.03. Let's actually raise this up to 0 0.05. And we can save. And then we can go ahead and test it. So I'll set it to 1 a.m. <clears throat> and now we have lights. Get rid of object picker. So we have some track lighting, but it's not getting very good coverage. So let's go ahead and modify our script again. Let's say we want this spot to be quite a bit wider, so I'm going to set that to 160. Our range is good. Our gradient offset is good. I'm going to raise the spot sharpness up to point three, just to see if we can extend that light a little bit more. There we go. Now we have some coverage. And you see we have some fairly realistic looking lighting. And what we can do, just to get a better feel as to what we actually did. Here is our lighting with that spot value of 150. And 
and here we are with our spot value of 100. So with 100, we're very confined in that angle, and then we raise it up to 160, and the light has the space to, lead, to bleed out into that 50 meter range. So all of these little pieces of the script that I have are coming from the GitHub wiki for track lighting and extensions. It also has uh, extension wikis for the grass effects that got turned on by default when I copied over. Also now you can use headlight. Uh, I will go ahead and put the GitHub wiki in the description for you guys to use. There's a, a bunch of stuff in there that I didn't talk about because I don't understand it. I'm not going to lie. I don't really care to. I found what works for me. I'm doing what I'm doing. If this is helpful, then good. If not, I don't know. I'll catch you later.